So you have a part you want to copy. Maybe it's a toy, maybe it's a frame, maybe a game piece, or something you made in clay or wood or on the 3D printer. You want to make it into a plastic or soap or wax or possibly a low melt metal such as wood metal. So what do you do and how do you do it? How about with a duplicating tool designed specifically, if I can say that, to be easy, straightforward, versatile, low cost, reusable to meet your mold making requirements. Impressive Putty Mix is a super low cost, easy to use mold making putty. So let's go through how to make a mold using the Impressive Putty Mix and while we're showing you, we'll tell you why the Impressive Putty Mix is such a nice product. So the Impressive Putty Mix comes as an unheated dough. The Impressive Putty is the same material as the Impressive Putty, except you need to heat and knead this Impressive Putty Mix the first time you use it. This reduces the manufacturing costs a lot, so we pass those savings on to you so the Impressive Putty Mix is lower cost than the Impressive Putty or pretty much any mold making material out there. I don't think there is any lower cost mold making material out there. And even the lower cost is even more lower cost if you reuse it more than once. So this can be used for dozens and dozens of molds. So heat the putty in the microwave or on any other heat source until it is above about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. In the microwave, three ounces takes about 40 seconds to get really warm, really hot. One pound takes about three minutes. Don't touch the putty as it's going to be really hot right now. Use a spoon to knead the putty into a, in a cup. Do this one more time in the microwave and knead it one more time until it has a smooth, nice texture. Let this cool until you can handle it easily with your hands. So now the Impressive Putty Mix is exactly like the Impressive Putty. You've done the heating for you and it's all the same now. Both are reusable molding putties. Whenever you need a new mold, just reheat this putty in the microwave or any heat form and you can reform it to make a new mold. So the advantage of the Impressive Putty and the Impressive Putty Mix are one, it's reusable. Two, you don't need a mold box, you can even put this on the ceiling. Two, three, no mixing of two parts together, it's all in one part and you just mix it and you're ready to go. Cools to solidify for a really fast mold making. There's no mold release necessary. It's eco-friendly, biodegradable, and did I tell you that it's reusable? Yes, you can reuse this mold making material any, as many times as you want. So, to make a mold with the Impressive Putty, heat it into the putty, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and press it over and around your part. That's it. It's best to smooth out the putty first to remove any creases, but you don't need a mold release because the activator that's in it that allows you to reuse the putty also acts as a release agent. This activator can leak out, so be sure not to leave this the putty on top of any furniture or rug. But if it does leak out, just use hot soapy water to clean it up. Um, it won't. It shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't say it. It shouldn't stain. Uh, when it's in putty form, the putty will stick to your part, which is great, so you can put it onto the ceiling or something. But don't worry, when it hardens, it's a pliable rubber um, and it won't stick to most surfaces. Um, if you want, place your part in the freezer to cool faster. So if it's something you can carry over to the freezer, stick it in the freezer and it'll cool really fast. And that's how you make your mold. And now you're ready to make your duplicate. So pour in two-part resins like urethane or epoxy. Um, you can use soaps and waxes as well. Some clear resins do react a little with the activator and create a whitish color on the surface. This doesn't affect any of, any of the properties of the resin that we found um, other than you have the whitish look on it, which can be cool, but if you add colors to it, you can make this non-issue and you won't even see it. Um, you can wash the putty with a denatured alcohol to clean off this activator, but this will reduce the ability to remelt and reuse. And if you do this, we do have more activator available, so if you need it. Uh, soaps, waxes, low melt metals, all can be used for the casting material along with many other options. We even have a food safe version of the Impressive Putty for chocolate molds. And you can even do two part molds with the Impressive Putty. You just do one half of the mold, let this cool, or even better, you chill that in the freezer, and then press the second half of the mold over that. Um, hold the two parts of the mold together using a rubber band and then pour in your resin or press in your resin or clay if you're using it for that. The putty also works well with the composite mold, a reusable heat and pour mold make material. Um, check out lots of videos that we have showing that process. Um, we have tutor tutorials combining the two of those together. And of course, something to keep in mind and to remind you is that when you're finished with your mold, the remelt, you can remelt the putty to make a new mold anytime you want. The impressive putty doesn't need to be re-kneaded. Um, just heat it so it's melted and into putty form again. And that's it. The impressive putty mix is a super awesome tool for easy mold making. 
and you can use it anytime and for anything. It's no dangerous chemicals and it's really easy to use. So thank you for watching and let me know what questions you have and what you'd like to see next. Thank you.